So yesterday I took my daughter to go see The Emperor's New Groove in the theater and they showed the first trailer for Raya the Last Dragon and I thought to myself, I wonder when we're gonna get a new trailer for this movie. Woke up today and it happened. Yes! So let's do this. All right guys, remember what we're looking for and don't trust anyone. Whoa, what? Hey, baby, where are your parents? Hey, uh, who's baby? What? <laughs> really? A con baby? <laughs> Impressive. We could use someone like you. Yeah? Let's catch you up. My name is Raya. Our lands have been at war for as long as we can remember. Our people never see eye to eye. My daughter, I believe our people can come together again. But someone has to take the first step. Now, in order to restore peace, we must find the last dragon. I wish to join this fellowship of butt kickery. <laughs> Let's go. We'll have to watch our backs. We're not the only ones looking. Six years of searching. Please let this be it. Almighty oh, sees you. Who said that? We really need your help. Ah, I'm gonna be real with you. I'm not like the best dragon. Have you ever done like a group project, but there's like that one kid who didn't pitch in as much, but still ended up with the same grade? Uh, we're doomed. You and the dragon are coming with me. Hmm. My sword here says we're not. The world's broken. You can't trust anyone. Maybe it's broken because you don't trust anyone. You just have to take the first step. Ah! I just shape changed. Dragons can do that? Look how close my butt is to my head. It's gonna make digestion so much faster. In theaters or ordered on Disney Plus with Premier Access, March 5th. There it is. Alrighty, real quick before I give my take on it, go ahead and let me know what you thought down below in the comment section. Also know I have ranked the last three eras of Disney movies. If you wanna hear my thoughts on a bunch of Disney movies, check those out right up here when this video is done. I'm gonna watch it one more time, then I'm gonna start talking about it. Okay, so I am really looking forward to this movie. I like it a lot. I really dug the first trailer because it, I mean, it had kind of this Indiana Jones relic hunting side to it while also being this martial arts adventure while being a Disney animation film. And this trailer, it, but it didn't give us much plot. We didn't really know what the adventure was or what the goal was. This one gives us quite a bit more. It gives us the setup of these different kingdoms and the belief that this last dragon will unite the kingdoms, but without really knowing who the villains are, what exactly the conflict is or where, where, where all of that is headed, but you really get a vibe also for the movie. Very cool martial arts action stuff, big epic adventure about multiple kingdoms, but the Disney humor in there with the con baby and the end with the dragon and you know the size of one's body, but being closer to the head, uh, helping digestion, which is a interesting and clever observation. So uh, all in all, I mean, I think it has a little bit of something of every for everyone, or at least when I think about the types of things I would be for, so I can't say for everyone, but for me, the types of things that I enjoy when I'm watching a movie with my, my kids, this is the one that I have. And like, in the case of my household, right now as I'm filming this, my two-year-old is watching the Lego movie for the 17th time this week and it's only Tuesday. Frequently she'll have her Moana quick kick. She had like seven months straight of Frozen and Frozen 2. So I'm also normally thinking about if this is one my kids latch on to, am I gonna be okay watching this movie for months and months and months straight? And uh, based off the trailer, I would certainly would be game for it. Uh, so I'm very excited to check this one out. 
I, I love that the, the action really looks kind of intense and some stories have come out and quotes from the director saying that he actually had to trim back the violence because it was getting too high of a rating, like certain moments put with an R rating because they're like, no, 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 you can't show that in an animated movie. That escalated quickly. They had to dial it back. I don't know what that means when it's in a Disney animated film, but I like the sound of it that that's what they were coming back from to get to the movie that we're going to watch. So I'm excited to check this one out. Let me know what you thought down below. Oh yeah, the other thing you have to talk about in here is that at the end it was confirmed it is absolutely going to Disney Plus if you play an extra charge on that that opening day. And I wasn't sure if that was confirmed. I know there's discussion rumors. I wasn't sure if it was confirmed. But it was right there in the trailer that it's going to be on Disney Plus. There are ways to see this movie. Excellent whether theater or at home, it is definitely actually coming, which is pretty exciting because even over the last couple of days, I've been working on mapping out my, my plan for the next few months as 20 movies or something like that just pulled and delayed. And so my whole plan for the next three months was kind of tossed out and I got to create a new one. And I'm glad a few studios are finding a way to actually release some stuff as a movie fan. As someone that talks about movies for a living, it makes my job a little bit easier. So tell me what you thought about it down below in the comment section. If you want more Disney content from me, check out that playlist right over there. Thank you so much for watching and keep talking movies too much.